Hi there, my name is Attila Toth, I'm a developer advocate at Timescale, the company behind Timescale DB, an open source time series database. In this video, I explain what time series data is, how it's used in the real world, and I will also talk about the kind of databases that can be used to store time series data. Before I talk about time series data, let's start with a fact. The world is changing constantly. Every aspect of our lives is changing and sometimes this can be overwhelming. The good news is that there is a way to better understand how the world or your world is changing. The solution is to capture and measure everything that matters to you or your company. To measure everything that matters, you need to collect data. After collecting data, you can analyze the data. And ultimately what ends up happening is that data helps you gain a better understanding of how things change. And with that said, this is really what time series data is all about. Time series data records how things change over time. To be more specific, this could be as simple as recording the temperature, tracking uh, stock market prices, or using sensors to monitor production lines in a factory. In the Timescale community, we have seen several interesting use cases of time series data. Here are five categories where our community sees lots of value from recording time series data. Let's start with application metrics. Imagine you maintain a web application, and every time a user logs in, you record that as, a as time series data. And with that, you could analyze historical login activity, see how usage increases or decreases over time. You can also see which type of users access the app the most, and so on. The next category is financial data. The financial sec sector is a typical example of time series data usage. Be it stocks, cryptocurrencies, or other financial assets, time series data allows you to see how prices changed over time, and it helps you spot trends. As an example, here's a time series chart showing you the intraday price changes of the Bitcoin cryptocurrency. Time series data allows you not just to know the current price of the asset, but it also shows you how it changed in the past. Let's continue with IoT or Internet of Things. Whether you are recording motor temperatures in, a, in factories, monitoring cannabis cultivation, or even using IoT to control a nuclear fusion experiment, you're leveraging time series data to make better decisions. And by the way, you can read more about those actual real world stories in the description in our developer Q&A series. Once you have sensors that send data into your time series database, you can create real-time dashboards and analyze historical data. Next, let's talk about observability. Another example that has become vital to every IT group around the world. Operational metrics for servers, networks, applications, environments, and more. This kind of time series met metric data is crucial to keep services running without interruption. By tracking the changes in each metric, IT departments can quickly identify problems, plan for capacity increases during upcoming events, and diagnose if an application update resulted in changed user behavior, for example. You can read about an actual example um, of, the, of a company called NLP Cloud that monitors their language API uh, using Timescale DB and time series data. Next, let's talk about Web3 and blockchains. In the past year, we have seen a huge surge in companies that use Timescale DB to build Web3 and blockchain tools. Blockchains are made of timestamped blocks and transactions. Blockchain data is fundamentally time series data. And there are several types of data to be recorded to drive smarter decisions in the industry. Think of NFT transaction monitoring, blockchain exploration, mining analytics, or even criminal investigations. If you're interested in more real-world examples of time series data, uh, click the links in the description where you can read how time series data can help build smarter cities or process hundreds of terabytes of blockchain data. Now let's answer the question, how is time series data different? Especially, how is it different from regular or general data? I highlight four main characteristics of time series data. First of all, time is a primary data field. Time plays a huge role when analyzing time series data, and so each record needs to be connected to a time field. 
Next, the data that arrives is almost always recorded as a new entry. This means that whenever something changes, you don't update the previous entry like you would normally do. Instead, you just insert a new entry into the database. And this allows you to keep historical data, which is a key component of time series data sets. Next, the data typically arrives in time order. In rare occasions, you might need to backfill data when you insert historical data into the database, but normally you just insert the most recent data whenever there is a new data point available. This can be in regular or in irregular time intervals. For example, let's say you record the temperature every 10 minutes, or you can record the price of a stock whenever there is a new trade on the market. Time series data is also relentless. In order to effectively analyze time series data, you need to collect data at speed and at scale. Being able to analyze increased, increased amounts of time series data is more valuable than ever, but it piles up very quickly. This leads to our next question. Why do you need a specialized database to store time series data? Why can't you just use a general database? And the answer can be divided into two parts. First of all, scalability and usability. Let's talk about scalability first. Time series data, as I said, is relentless. It comes at you fast, so you do need a specialized database that can keep up with large amounts of time series data. The more data you collect, the harder it is to achieve great query performance because large amounts of data can make your database slow, which means you might not be able to serve dashboards or data applications in a reliable manner. Regarding usability, Time series databases typically include built-in functions and operations common to time series data analysis, such as data, data retention policies, continuous aggregates, arbitrary time aggregations, custom-made time series analytical functions, and so on. Most of these features are not available in normal or general databases, but these features can boost developer productivity by a lot. A specialized time series database can make your queries simpler, make the maintenance of your database easier, and ultimately it makes developing data applications faster. I hope this was useful. I will, leave, I will leave a lot of resources in the description below if you want to learn more about time series data. And maybe you can also try some of our hands-on tutorials that teach you how to collect, store, and analyze time series data efficiently. If you're interested in more time series content, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and I see you in the next one.